Hey, what's going on? This is episode one of my side hustle series. So I'm starting this side hustle series because I have a goal. I set a goal for my birthday, September 22nd. By my birthday, I'm going to have $40,000 that I've made on purely side hustles. This is no crypto investment that I currently have. This is not coming from my, from my regular source of income. This is no commissions, just purely side hustles. So hit the like button, subscribe, and follow me on my journey. And if you want, you can go ahead and follow along on my journey. Let's get this money. Besides hitting the likes and subscribe button, of course, hit me up with some comments. Let me know what's your favorite side hustle. And if any of the four side hustles that I'm bringing up is currently what you're doing right now. So side hustle number one. Number one and two is kind of one and the same, but I'm going to explain how they're going to be different. So number one is couch flipping. Couch flipping is going to be sofas, love seats, possibly a recliner here and there, but just living room sets and even sectionals, of course. Number two is going to be furniture restoration and flipping. I bought my sanders, I bought my paint, I bought my uh, wood fillers, all that good stuff. So this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun project I have some good ideas I picked up some cool pieces I'm gonna make a short of the different pieces that I've purchased and what I'm gonna do with those pieces and so you can follow along I'm gonna have little videos uh, time lapses of me working on those pieces as well and when I'm picking them up when I'm selling them how much I'm selling them for all that good stuff and number three number three is eBay reselling whether it's drop shipping through Walmart, retail arbitrage, all that good stuff, that's gonna be eBay resale. And number four, the fourth side hustle is a side hustle that I'm not properly equipped to talk about it, just because I don't wanna give any misinformation or steer you guys the wrong way, but I do have a friend that is uh, pretty successful in NFT flipping. So I am going to have a sit down with him before I get started with the NFT flipping. I'm going to have a sit down with him for the podcast, for the YouTube, and he's going to explain what he does. Uh, hopefully he shows me while we're doing the sit down and I will have some screen recording and show and share the screen with you just so we can get those different steps and possibly get started right then and there. That would be dope but uh stay tuned for that one so let, let's get into let's get into the first two side hustles which is the couch flipping and the furniture restoration and flipping i'm gonna give you my little requirement what i look at just because and i can do this because i have already picked up some pieces and flipped a couple pieces as well um like i sold a um a love seat I got it for a hundred, which is risky, and I'm gonna tell you why. But I knew it was gonna sell. I flipped that for 450. And the second piece I picked up was a recliner, and I also picked up a, a love seat power recliner. So that was a little risky too. But I just sold the single recliner for 450 dollars. That was a power recliner. Um, so I haven't sold both those pieces. But there's some good profit there, especially when I sell the love seat. I've also picked up a dresser, I picked up a chest and a nightstand. The three of them were about 90 bucks. So with those, I need a I need to restore them. Uh, I got my sander and all all of the other things that I need to do that, and I will be recording myself taking care of those and. I'll show you the starting product and the finished product. It is going to be dope. I have some great ideas for those pieces. Um, but anyways, before the requirements, I'm going to tell you guys what apps I use. Okay, so the apps that I use to find these pieces or find these items is OfferUp. There's also an app called Nextdoor, which you can find your local deals um, on there. It's like a little neighborhood app. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Facebook Marketplace is also a very good one. I found some good deals on Facebook Marketplace, but honestly, my favorite is going to be OfferUp. You can also use Craigslist. People say that Craigslist is dead. That's what I've heard. I've heard Craigslist is dead, but I don't think so. There's still good deals on there. You can find uh, free items. You can find items for next to nothing. Uh, so those are 
that's a really good thing to look into. I don't know about selling, just because I don't use Craigslist to sell. I usually sell on uh, Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp. I haven't used the Nextdoor app to to sell, but I've you know I've seen some items to to pick up in the very near future. And this isn't an app. This is a bonus. But I'm also gonna start thrift store shopping. I have some friends and I've seen other YouTubers go to thrift stores and find good deals. I even got um, I got a good lead in a certain thrift store in the area that has great deals and the source that it's coming from, it's a very reputable source. Before I get into the requirements, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Hopefully you like it so far. These requirements are going to help you just so you have a basis of what to judge the items that you're purchasing or how to judge them. So the requirements, the main thing that I'm looking at, we're looking at dollars because you want the biggest profit. Even if it's a hundred dollars, that's still good profit. Even if it's $50 profit, it's still profit. So we want to, that we want to extend the profit margin as much as we can because we're all trying to get that money right now. The requirement that I look at before anything else is under a hundred dollars. I don't like making purchases for more than a hundred dollars. I have, and they're risky. So you have to be sure if you're spending more than a hundred dollars, you have to be sure that you can flip that for profit. And the reason why I say under a hundred dollars, because you have to have this safety net, this safety net that if it doesn't sell how you thought it would sell and it's possible, that you can at least let it go for $100 and you won't be in the red. You won't lose profit. I like to be in the, um, for furniture, in regards to chest, nice sand dressers, whatever, uh, wood furniture, I'd like to be in the maybe 20, 30, I would say max 60 bucks. And that goes for, that goes for living room as well. You can definitely come up on some good pieces for under $100. If you want to go 100, 120, 150, that's fine. You can do it, but just keep in mind what I'm telling you with that safety net. And when it comes for furniture, not wood furniture, not chest dressers, all that stuff, we're going to say case goods, not case goods. Now we're talking about living room sets. Living room sets. I'd like to stay in the neutral colors, something that it's going to have a bigger audience because if you pick up a green or a blue set, not many people are going to be looking for that. You have, you can cast a larger net if you get in the browns or the grays, even black, that's fine. But shade of brown, shade of gray and black. That's my suggestion. You can do what you want with that. Another thing that I look for when I'm looking for deals is must sell or need to pick up ASAP or moving, bought new furniture, whatever the case is, just make sure that they're trying to get rid of it because if they're trying to get rid of it, they don't want to see it anymore. They just want it out of their house. Their significant other is probably nagging them or they have new furniture coming in that that old stuff is taking its spot. So they have it in the garage and they can't park their cars. So what you got to do is jump into that and you can jump into that with these low ball offers. And yes, I hate posting on offer because there's a lot of low ballers. And now that I'm doing this side hustle, I'm that guy. Ugh. I'm that guy. I'm that low baller, but it's okay because they're not putting money in my pocket. So I gotta, I gotta be out here with trying to get the best deal that I can. So with that being said, must sell or trying to get rid of it urgent because there's people on offer of there's people on Facebook marketplace there's people on Craigslist trying to make money from it I'm not trying to help you get a profit I'm trying to make a profit I'm trying to extend that profit margin for myself so if I see a living room set and they have to get rid of it right away they put 200 250 dollars I'm gonna lowball them with the 60 dollar offer make no mistake because at the end of the day if someone gets it before I do at 200, I could have got that set if I acted quick enough for 60, 70, 80 bucks and sold it for $200. So I pick it up for 80 and if it were to sell for those 200, 
I just made 120 bucks. So I left money on the table if I don't go and get that urgently for the for the price that I want. Yeah, I look like an asshole. I look like the low baller, but it's okay. I'm trying to get it for the price that I want, not for the price that you're trying to sell it for. Keep that in mind. Don't feel too bad about it. You know, th this is a this is a game. This is a game and we got to play that game. All right, so that is just a quick rundown of what I'm doing and I hope that helped you the requirements that I have. I hope that helped you and you can apply this to your furniture flipping endeavors. Um, the colors don't matter when it has to do with case goods just because you can send it down and voila it's whatever color you want it to be and there's other YouTube channels that you can look at it how to sand it down how to paint it what paints to use I will be posting what paints I use what sander I use you don't have to do that you can go and do your own thing but I'm at least give you a little outline of what I'm doing just so you can follow along on that journey okay so like, comment, subscribe, follow my journey. This is gonna be great. $40,000 is right there, right there. September 22nd, $40,000, I gotta do it because that's gonna, that's gonna set up my first big investment that I'm moving into. And I can't tell you what that is. I can't tell you what that is until after September, once I got that cash ready and we're moving, I will make sure that I post what I'm doing, but, not yet. For now, you gotta follow me out. Follow me on my journey. You hit the like button. You hit the subscribe. You comment. Whatever you want to do, but follow me. Get to know me. Get to know the hustle. I appreciate y'all. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Towers Lifestyle. I will post stuff that I won't be posting on YouTube. I won't be posting on Spotify, iTunes, whatever. But just follow along. I appreciate everybody that's watching. Thank you.